So what we're going to do here today is we're going to show you how to adjust a center opening cord drawn track when it doesn't meet in the center. That is to say that you've been out, you've bought your track, you've got it home, you've expanded it out to the size you want and then it doesn't open in the center or it doesn't close in the center. So we need to adjust that. The way we do that is by adjusting this carrier here. You've got one carrier that will have a knot or a double knot or the two ends of the cord will be tied together in some way. We don't want to touch that. We do not touch that. We need to work with the other one. The other one won't be knotted or shouldn't be knotted and that's the cord that will allow us to adjust the track. Instead of trying to find the centre of the track, each track has an equal number of runners on each side. So what we do is we adjust the carriers to go all the way back to the runners. That way, when we tie the cords off, they will open and close in the centre. So your curtain track is not in the centre. We take this cord out of the carrier and keep your finger between the cord and the carrier. If you don't, the cord will go into the track and you'll have to fish it out and it might be a bit difficult. You then move that carrier down there and you'll be getting slack cord. Try and pull that slack cord through. And we've now got that one all the way back. Now if you find that this one here is not all the way back, keep your finger between there and just pull the cord until that one goes back. Okay, we now have our track opening in the centre. All we need to do now is tie it off. One of those cords won't move, that's the cord that's attached to there. The other cord will take this slack away. Keep your finger between there and the cord. If it happens to be a big track and you're getting your wife to pull this cord while you're doing this, be careful because she may take the opportunity to try and take your finger off because it can hurt. So once you've got the slack taken up, you then need to tie this off in some way. When you're doing this, make sure that the other end doesn't move. So it's got to stay there. So you can usually do that by holding that cord. It's the other cord you're working with. You then take this cord and it's fixed in some way. If you remember how you took it off, you can put it back the same way. Take, you'll get some slack cord here, remembering we don't want the other end to move. This one goes through there. I put a half hitch around there and then lock the other one off. Pull that cord until it's tight and we now have our track opening and closing in the centre. Simple as that.